internal structure of the heart. The human heart has four chambers. The two upper chambers are the atria and the two lower chambers are the ventricles. The interatrial septum separates the two atria and the interventricular septum is the partition between the two ventricles. The right atrium and the right ventricle are connected to the tricuspid valve. As the name suggests, it has three leaflets or cups. On the other hand, the left atrium and the left ventricle are connected to the bicuspid valve. The bicuspid valve is also called as the microvalve because of its resemblance with the bishop's mitre or hat. The leaflets of these actual ventricular valves are connected to fibrous tissues called chorea tendini, which in turn are attached to papillary muscles. Contraction and relaxation of these muscles make the valves open and close. There are also valves at the opening of the pulmonary trunk and aorta. These are called the pulmonary valve and the aortic valve, respectively. Because of their crescent moon shape, these two valves are also called semilunar valves. The characteristic depth sound of the heartbeat is produced during the closing of the heart valve. The thickness of the heart chambers varies with their function. The walls of the atria are thinner than those of the ventricles as atria pumps blood into the ventricles only, whereas ventricles pump blood at great distance and higher pressure. Therefore, the wall of the left ventricle is thicker than the, that of the right ventricle. The sinoatrial node, atrioventricular node, bundle of HIS, and Purkinje fibers represent the specialized cardiac tissues. These fibers are auto excitable as they have the potential to generate electrical activity without an external stimulus. This makes the heart beat continuously. Thank you.